Hi, welcome to another edition of Mike's Tech. I have a uh, very recently released story here for you, and um, this is off of Guru 3D's website. Uh, they have a source that they're quoting uh, Weebio.com ROG fan uh, for their source on this, and I would be showing you their website, but as you can see here, their website is not exactly in English so I will be using the Guru 3D source for this. Um, this is virtually brand new information. The uh, previews of the new Asus Z97 motherboards have come out, they've been released, and there's actually one in here I'm going to show you in just a minute that no other site is covering and it's not even listed in the text here. So um, hang on just a second, but first I'm just going to go over what's obvious for most of the gamers. Um, as you can see, they've got a preview of the Maximus 7 Gene uh, Mini ITX motherboard. Uh, that's basically going to have, as you can see here, two PCI 3.0. Oops, sorry, two PCI 3.0 16 slots and a PCI 3.0 X4 slot. Uh, eight serial ATA 3.0, as well as port for the uh, M2 PCIe SSD interface for the mini SSD. Now um, this is this information is on a few websites here so I'm just going to go over there's the um, like I said the Maximus 7 gene. Uh, you scroll down here you can see this is it's the description is talking about the Tough series but this is actually their um, Z97 Deluxe series and you can see they've uh, still sticking with the gold um, highlights but they've made it a little more subdued for those that didn't like that. Um, you can see down here, this is actually the Tough series, I believe. No, I'm sorry, that's not the Tough series, that's the Maximus uh, 7 Ranger. Um, anyway, but they discuss here in the Tough series, the Sabretooth 97 Mark I uh, has plates to prevent noise and heat, layout looks similar to the Hero and th this is where they talk about the deluxe uh, coming with a two pin with two um, eight pin EPS power connectors so the deluxe is going to have two eight pin power connectors and a 16 phase DGI circuitry six serial ATA point, uh, 6.0 ports and an extra SATA express port for next gen SSDs now that's pretty important um, we'll see in the future that that's going to improve the uh, speed of the SSDs quite a bit um, now if you go now you can see here this is the Maximus 7 Ranger um, and obviously another ROG board from uh, Asus you can see it's got uh, three PCI Express probably these two are your 16's and then four PCI um, one, one X slots now this is where I wanted to come down and show you um, it's kinda hidden and I really think this is important because anyone that's into uh, gaming and video editing knows the value of the uh, workstation boards from Asus. They're a very solid board. They have uh, workstation level testing. They're designed for your basic um, long-term rendering. So if you're going to be rendering something for two or three hours, your system, you know, maybe you want to do a render overnight. These are boards are designed to handle that where other boards aren't designed to be the constant operation. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Now if you come down here, if I'm going to do this not in the order of these pictures just so I can explain to you my logic in figuring this out. Uh, if you look here, and um, you can see they did have at this uh, convention where they had this, the Z97WS, that's the workstation board. And you, get a, you can just tell a little bit what it looks like. But if you come over here, there it is. This is the Z97WS and I'm going to zoom in here a minute so if we lose a little clarity I'm sorry but this, I think this is important to see. Um, you can see here that it's got one, two, three, four PCI Express uh, four, uh, 16x slots and also of interest is there's one, two, uh, one x slots but there's also a 4x slot here. Now the previous generation uh, WS board did only have uh, 1x slots but also if you look on this board here right here 
you can see that there appears to be two USB 3.0 um, headers. So instead of having your standard uh, two uh, front USB uh, 3.0s out, you can actually could have four USB 3.0s out the front. And also, if you look over here, you can see now I'm obviously don't have a picture of this side of the board, but uh, typically they would only stack the SATA connectors too high. So there's you've got a total of ten SATA connectors, and the fact that they're under two separate um, appearances would imply that you've got a secondary controller. Now, if this is anything like the um, Z87WS, then what they're going to be able to do here actually is um, use the um, secondary controller will also be a full speed uh, SATA 6. So instead of having SATA 6 and SATA 3, it'll all be SATA 6. And also, a feature that most of WS boards have is the ability to hook in a mechanical and then also hook in an SSD to the same controller and for it to actually use that SSD as a large cache to speed up your mechanical hard drive. But um, we're not done here on this WS board. Something else I want you to see, and I'm going to zoom back uh, down here for you. Um, I've got to find it. Just one second. I think this is the right picture. Yeah, here you go. Now, if you can, you can see here in front, uh, this is the Z97 Plus, their mini ITX board. You know, it's a nice looking little board, but nothing I see overly groundbreaking here. But um, if you look beside it, this is the WS board again. So, and you can see better the um, the four PCI uh, 16 slots. And now I don't know for a fact that these are all 16 slots. I want to make that clear. Um, you notice the different colorations. It's entirely possible that two are 16 and two are eight. So wait till the official specs are released on that. But um, also on the back here, you can see you know you've got your standard um, six pin audio out. But that appears to be. And I'm going to try to zoom in here again on this. This appears to be one, two, three, four um, USB 3.0s on the back, and that right there, in my opinion, looks to be either a mini display port or a Thunderbolt um, port on the back. It's really hard to tell from the angle of this picture, but it's got to be one of the two just looking at the size of it. And here, this appears to be another two uh, USB 3.0 uh, slots. Now, Typically, with WS boards right here on the top of these 3.0s, you're going to have the dual NICs. Um, Asus is really good about the dual NICs on these WS boards. allows you to have basically one is hooked up to your internet and the other one, or your network, and the other one you can have hooked up directly to your NAS, and that'll you know greatly improve your storage. Now over here, it's really hard to tell. I really hate to guess at what these are, but that does appear to be maybe USB 2.0, it's, I'm not sure. I really don't want to speak out of turn here on those. Um, it's just really hard to tell. That could be, that could honestly be about anything, but that does, right there, that does appear to be USB 2.0. So, um, regardless, so you're going to get at least four uh, USB 3.0s on the back maybe six and whatever this is like I said I really believe that to be either a dis mini display port or a Thunderbolt port on that which is either way understandable and here again you can see um, the uh, 4x slot that's not normally in there so this is definitely as you can see right there Z97 WS this is definitely the Z97 board um, you know these are really good boards for your uh, combo work especially because they make good gaming boards and they're but they're designed to work station standards. Asus has a much um, uh, excuse me a much higher customer service on these two. They um, put will put these back with a quick turnaround if you have to RMA anything. Um, usually faster than the regular ones. Anyway, that was the main focus I wanted excuse me wanted to do on this video. But um, let's go ahead and look at what else we can see here because as you can see they only focused on a few on the article and you know here in front of us we do have the Z97 Plus uh, which will come appears with one uh, PCI Express uh, 16 probably 3.0 not something else on this this could be um, 3.0s and these could be 2.0s so they may all be 16s with two 3.0s and 
to 2.0s. So that's just another speculation on my part. I really, have, like I say, I don't know. This board uh, isn't scheduled to be released for at least another few weeks. But um, anyway, sorry to go get off on that. With the Z97 Plus uh, right here, um, you really can't see a lot of it, but you can see it's got onboard for um, VGA DVI. Um, I'm assuming these are, um, well, there's your audio and most likely your neck and your back USBs. It's hard to see, obviously, what the rest of that is. Uh, it does have an 8 pin um, EPS power connector there, so this will be a board you could actually overclock on. That's good. Uh, 24 pin, obviously, uh, USB 3.0. And one, two, three, four SATA connectors on headers on the inside. Um, I'm not too sure about these placements right here. I know this isn't a final release board, but that seems kind of I don't know. That just seems kind of a weird placement because you're putting your two memory slots here and your uh, graphics card here. You're at least gonna have to run your cables up and over. Anyway, um, let's look at a few other pictures here, here real quick. I'm gonna zoom back to default. Um, just for resolution purposes, if I find something else to zoom in on, uh, that's the, again the Z97 Deluxe. We already took a kind of a look at that, um, but that, that this would be their um, basically their non-gaming flagship board. As you can see, it's got. A, oops, I'm very sorry. I clicked the wrong thing. Let's go back where we were. I am so sorry about that. Um, as you can see, uh, this board again appears to have three uh, 16x slots. This is the, this one is um, the same color as the other um, PCI Express 16. So it's, this is probably your 3.0, and these would be 2.0s. I'm speculating, and then one, two, three, maybe four. It's hard to tell right there. Maybe four um, 1x slots. Anyway. Um, let's see if there's any other pictures here that wasn't covered. That's the Z87, I mean the workstation board. Um, this appears to be part of the Tough series. Uh, is that a different board or is that the same board, different angle? Uh, that's a different board. Uh, it doesn't identify which boards these are, but again you can see their um, armor that they like to put on there, um, which I believe is conducive to the Tough series. Ah, there you go. That's the, um, yep, it says right there, Tough Sabretooth series. And now here's a picture of, I believe, uh, the MSATA port they were talking about. But um, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. But there, this is, let's see, that's the overview for the board. I'm just running through this real quick. Sorry if this, this is more or less just double checking. Yeah, there's this, the tough uh, Saber 2 C97. It's a better picture of it for you. Thermal armor. It's got the where it cools internally and exhaust out the back. Um, Gene Hero Ranger. So there's the overview for the Maxima series. Uh, let's close this and go back where we were. Now this, I'm actually not sure what the difference between these two. It's made to be a different angle on these boards, actually. These appear to be another uh, Z97 Deluxe board. Um, I don't really see a lot of uh, difference other than the angles on these two. So maybe that's what that is. I've already looked at that. Uh, there's the Griffin, the Z97 Griffin. And Z97 Griffin, I'm guessing with the tough armor, it's hard to tell. You know, naturally these aren't these. I mean, you can see, other than the names, these um really aren't even in English. Plus, they are marked out. But that definitely says Griffin, and so does this. So that's definitely both off the tough series. Uh, but I guess that's just the armor without the armor. Um, it's a slightly different model you can tell because a different coloration. So. Sorry about that. Can't see much else on there for that one. That's just an overview of the booth that they had. Uh, Maximus Hero again.
Maximus Gene again. Maximus Ranger. And if you look, now I'm not 100% sure that these are in order, but um, I'm trying just to verify that for you before I say this. This right here does appear to be the Ranger board beside the Gene, so you can get a little bit of a picture here of what's on the onboard uh, out panel out the back. And again, there's your six audio for the Ranger, uh, three U uh, USB 3.0s. Uh, there's your neck VGA DVI. I'm sure there's HDMI in there somewhere. Um, this, this right here would. Uh, appears to be the deluxe again, and you know, uh, that that appears to be their onboard Wi-Fi connector right there. Uh, one, two, three, four, potentially four, maybe maybe six. Uh, SATA six, I mean, sorry, USB 3.0s, and not sure about the rest over here. It's really hard to see. But anyway, um, so there's a better overview of the Ranger, and the Hero. Uh, that would be the Gene again, their mini ITX board, or excuse me, mini ATX, I said that wrong, and this appears to be just going over the same pictures again. Anyway, um, that's basically what I wanted to show you. Like I said, I really wanted to focus on their uh, 97 WS board. Um, so l looking forward to that, I actually was in the process of ordering a... a, a um, Z87 WS board for my new build and the fact that these are coming out within a couple of weeks is really making me want to hold off so um, we will definitely see what's coming out soon and um, see what's going to be next with, with Asus it's really nice to see these boards come out I'm going to zoom in on this 97 just a touch again I thought this was where the MSATA was connected on but I don't see the connector here. So, anyway, um, there you go. Like I said this is off of Guru3D's website. I want to give them credit for publishing this. But this is, um, and their source again is Webio.com. Obviously, a site from Asia. I don't know which, um, whether that was Chinese or Korean, Japanese. I'm sorry, I can't read it. But you can see it was definitely in one of the one of those languages, and you know. I want to give credit where credit is due for the sourcing on this because this is excellent news. This is actually going to make a lot of people happy to see these boards come out now. And um, the good thing is they are supposed to be socket uh, 1150. So um, th whether you're using the Haswell refresh, which is also coming out by the way, or the current Haswell, you'll be able to put either one in these boards. It would definitely appear. So, um, any questions, uh, feel free to ask. And like I said, this is off of Guru3D's website. I'm going to uh, put a link to this article uh, down below in the description. And um, if anyone wants to look at it further, feel free, you know, to ask or just to correct me if I'm wrong. You know, this is all my interpretation of these pictures. So feel free to, if you find something to correct me on, if I'm wrong, I will gladly, you know, change my mind on that. So, um, anyway, thank you very much. This has been another edition of Mike's Tech, uh, breaking news, more or less, because this is only a day or two old, and honestly, it's the first I've seen of it. So, um, please like, subscribe, and um, stay tuned for my next videos coming out. I'm going to have an, an entire overview and build of a um, new uh, medium to low range build I'm doing for a client and get to give you a good overview of it. Uh, it's going to be an i3 base build. Anyway, uh, talk to you later, and uh, thanks for watching.